it was the only place that I got in at. Um, I, it was my third year of applying for drama schools and I'd applied for mm, other drama schools and not applied for RADA because I didn't think, I'd, you know, I thought there was no possibility of me ever getting in at RADA. And one of my audition speeches actually is from um, Shakers by John Gobba and she's auditioning for RADA. So me and my friends, Diane Morgan, who's now a really successful comedian, went, oh, let's just audition for RADA. They come to Manchester. We tried everywhere else. We don't have to go to London. It's only £2.50 return on the train to Bol from Bolton. So we, we auditioned. Um, and I think because I was so... Like, not blasé is the wrong word, but I didn't imagine it would go any further than the first round. And then got a, got a call to come down to London to do the workshop. So... But yeah, it was never really on my scheme of things. It just seemed it seemed impossible. It didn't. It wasn't. It didn't seem part of the plan because I didn't think it was obtainable to get to Rada. So it was all. A, I sort of fell into it a little bit. Although I did want to go to drama school. So. My first impression of Rada was was awe, really. Um, and then in, I mean, it's very different now from when I was here, you know, it's very judgy now, and, uh, but yeah, you just felt, you could feel the history, you know, and of course, it's, it's not the place itself, it's, you know, the people who've passed through that door and the people who've trained here before, so, yeah, it was quite exciting, it seemed very romantic, it felt a little bit stepping back into the sort of 40s or something like that, you know, it's got that atmosphere about it. My perception of Rada did change. I expected, I was slightly disappointed because I thought it was going to be full of um, sort of offspring of very famous uh, actors and lords and ladies. And I sort of got them and what, there's five of the northerners? I thought it was going to be like some sort of, you know, novelty student, you know. And I was a little bit disappointed when I sort of went, what? There's loads of them from the north. So, uh, yeah, I was slightly disappointed about that. I thought I'd be going having, you know... Christmas parties up in somebody's castle in the Highlands or meeting Lord and Lady Suchbody and actually everybody was from all walks of life, you know. I think what I felt distinct about the Rada audition was it was the nicest audition I had. It was the most friendly and supportive. I felt a lot of the other drama schools was a little bit harsh and, I, you know, I, I, I hadn't come with, not that many people had, but I wasn't from a theatrical background. I really didn't know how to audition. I didn't quite know what to do with speech. And you felt that you were, you were nurtured along the way. And I remember coming away thinking, well, if I don't get in at RADA, at least I've learned something. But I felt a lot of the other drama schools, they'd taken me money and audition me and I'd come away with nothing. But at least from RADA, I felt, well, I've come up, I've, I've learned something over these sort of two auditions, especially the, the workshop day, which was fantastic. You know, you got a day's training for sort of free, well, for your £25, I think it was, to audition then. So, yeah, I was really impressed. And I'm not just saying it, I felt it was the best. It was the best school, the best audition set up of all the schools. I think what was special about the training, it's, it's very comprehensive. They, they don't really, f you know, they, they've not got one practitioner that they're sort of, sort of set on. And you get a taste of lots of different sort of flavours. So I think it was up to you to decide which you felt worked best for you, you know. We did a little bit of Stanislavski, we did a lot of, with, you know, we did we, the book Respect for Acting, um, the Uta Hagen book was a bit of a Bible when we were here, but it was not, this wasn't told, this is the way you must, um, you know, develop your characters. I felt you were given a toolbox with lots of different tools and then you picked and, you know, choose what you needed at the time and what, what fitted you as an actor best. And I think you can see that with rider actors. I don't think there's a, a set kind of actor. I think there's lots of different actors leaving and they have different methods to their approach. I think if you're looking to come to train at Rada, you, you I mean, t to get as much out of it as you can, I think when I look back now, I was sort of drained a bit more out of that, you know what I mean? Just think, get as much as you can. I mean, because... You know, you could go off and lots are doing at the moment around and going off being movie stars very quickly. But I, I think it's it's just piling it all on. You've got to, you know, I keep talking about this blooming toolbox, but get, you know, get your work bag full and then it'll keep you sort of sustained. You know, still I still go back to old notebooks. You know, we had a brilliant teacher called Jenny Lippman who turned up for a couple of terms and taught us acting. I mean, I'm still in touch with her, but I still go back to her, you know, notes from her books and look at old files and the stuff, accent, you know, papers, Joe McCulloch taught us, I still have got all the, 
you know, keep, I kept everything. And it's funny, after all these years, you still go, ah, oh, there's something about that in a book somewhere, there's something, you know, and you still, you st and things still slot into place. Now you go, ah, oh, that's what they meant with that. I, at the time, I thought, it's just daft. Why are we doing that? And then you start going, oh, it makes sense now. So I just think, get as much as you can. Enjoy yourself as well, and don't take it too seriously. And sometimes, some of what the tutors say, just let it go over your head, <laughs> you know. I think we're all a bit too sensitive, yeah. you know, but yeah, enjoy it and, and, and work, get your head down because it's only three years yeah. and it'll pay off in dividends when you leave. Yeah. So.